So in the last episode, we did get an offer from Louisville, and I don't know, maybe we should consider that college because they're giving me a full ride. Georgia, Arkansas, and West Virginia are all in the mix now, and that is all because of Michael Vick's performance on the field. So as we go into week number three of his senior year career, you know, I am still thinking about his decision. When it comes time to the decision, I don't know if we should steer up the series and send him to another college or if we should just keep him true to the facts and let him attend to the University of Virginia Tech and, you know, make everything actually believable and realistic. So here we are. You know, both teams are ready to go. And here goes my first possession of the game. Michael Vick is stepping back. He gets a complete completion to Kennedy and he basically all he had to do was break that tackle and pick up more than a first down so everything is looking good here until I did that look at this interception by Michael Vick and I am just racing 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 at the 10 yard line I decided to dive but that was a miss and it was sort of embarrassing but luckily we are not in front of my home crowd but I do hear some fans you know laughing at my performance and that is why I decided to come out and show them who I am so here I am I get a completion right here to my receiver and that is gonna set us up at the goal line so Michael Vick is gonna step now and he finds his receiver and his receiver might be short a yard so what does he do here he scrambles the corner you know the defense thinks he's gonna scramble but I was right there to find the open man for a touchdown and then here is the story of the game basically a lot of times what I did was I noticed my tight end is a fast receiver He's just like one of those Gronkai, uh, Gronka, uh, Gronkowski type players. And uh, I don't know why I had trouble saying his name there. But he's just one of those big guys that have hands and have speed. So that is why I took advantage of him every time that I sent him out on streaks. Just the middle linebackers and basically the defense in high school is not going to get the job done. You're pretty much going to dominate against every single defense that you play in high school. And they just make it too easy no matter what difficulty that you play on but one problem that I had was the offensive line the offensive line in high school is terrible I mean I was being pressured every single game you see the pressure just comes to me in a matter of seconds I mean I don't know why the offensive line can't even keep up with the defensive line in this game and then that is one of the problems that Michael Vick has been having I mean everything has been forced he gets sacked he turns the ball over some of it is on him and some of it is on his offensive line but more importantly you know this is when things went downhill second half of the game you know you see third quarter we go down with a sack there and then Michael Vick is going to come out here and pass finally something going there gets a first down and maybe we're gonna you know get something going here five touchdowns to interception on game and then as we approach the goal line there goes you know the hill just keeps going downhill and uh that did not make sense at all but you guys know what i'm talking about so the score is now 42 to 35 this is when you know he came out and he was like look I've been doing decent all game long, and I just got to finish this game out. So third and two, he steps back. He sees his tight end, and there was a missed coverage by the safety and the free safety. And they just, you know, went crisscross and missed the re receiver, and the receiver was able to take that one in for a touchdown. Here comes Michael Vick. We get the ball back. Our defense came up with a stop. So we're going to drive here one more time. The game is basically over because Arlington doesn't have the ball. But Michael Vick just wants to pat on the stats. He goes to his tight end once again. Just a powerful play performance and more importantly a finisher by Michael Vick you know he came out here he looked pretty bad in the second half specifically the third quarter but he came out in the fourth quarter and just finished this game off with the score of 56 to 35 now when we went back in the main menu these schools have offered me a scholarship we got Virginia Tech in the mix TCU South Carolina we got Georgia I mean I'm pretty glad all these colleges have offered me a scholarship so here's a run down South Carolina and Georgia who I picked last week they have quickly offered me a scholarship so next team that I'm going to choose to pursue is Texas A&M we'll see how long it takes for them to give me a scholarship but it shouldn't really be a problem so I'm probably if I do end up going to Texas A&M it's gonna be a competition between me and Johnny Menzel so here comes the next week the following week you know this was a week where we sort of wanted to take our angers out the frustration that we had from last game this 
is it right here. So Michael Vick going deep to his receiver. His receiver is right there for reception, who's going to pretty much take us out to the 20-yard line. Michael Vick stepping back. Now he decides to scramble. Defensive line finally not there. You know, they're always there to make the tackle, but they're not there. And in a play action right here, Michael Vick wide open. He's going to take this one on the ground and go in for the first touchdown of the game. So you see a lot of on the ground action. Michael Vick now is going to show off his arm to his tight end, who is just too quick. And he just has the arm for it to go up there every time and make that catch. So Michael Vick looking too good right here. The team is looking too good. He is just dominating right now. The score is 21-3. to He's going to step back right here. A play action once again. But here comes the pressure. You guys see that pressure? I mean, it's too much. And then here, once again, I get a sack. And uh, 4th and 11, we go for it. And I get that reception to the so-called Gronk. And he is able to go in for the touchdown. And that is pretty much it for this week. I believe there's about two or three weeks left until we start high school playoffs. But more importantly, we pick up a huge victory right here to boost our confidence with the score of 42 to 6. When I got in the main menu, Texas AM easily offered me a scholarship. Next up, we got Wisconsin, West Virginia, and Washington. And that'll be it for this episode. Now, here are pretty much all the teams that I got recruited with. We got Virginia Tech, TCU. Georgia, West Virginia, Texas A&M, South Carolina, and Louisville as well. So that'll be it for this episode. It's your boy Onto the Boss, and I'm signing out. If you guys want to stay updated on when all my videos will be uploaded, make sure you follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Onto the Boss.